Well, good morning and welcome back to 360 Alaskan Life. It's finally a warm day today. It's only a two below Fahrenheit today, so I can finally unload my new toy. So if you haven't seen it yet, last week I got myself a new 50 inch three point hitch mounted snowblower. And so since it's finally warm enough for me and the tractor to come out here, because I don't like to come out here when it's too cold, uh, we're gonna get it offloaded today and get it set up on the back of the tractor. So you can see the chain's not on the idler sprocket there, but that's not a problem. We'll get a master mechanic Ethy out here and we'll get him to fix it all up, get it put on the tractor and put it to work. Okay, well, we're back in the cab of my Kubota B2650 here in Fairbanks, Alaska, getting ready to unload my new toy. I've got the pallet forks on. I had to dig them out of the snowbank. They were probably covered in um, snowbank. They were covered in about four feet of snow, but I got them on now and I'm ready. Let's, uh, let's get this thing unloaded. Well, now that we got the blower safely out of the truck, it's time for Ethy to help get the tensioner fixed here. So, just working on it now. Well, you can see Master Mechanic Ethy got the uh, the chain back on the idler sprocket. Thanks, Ethy. I got it all fixed, yes, sir. -y. So, went through with Ethy and tightened the rest of the bolts too. Just double check them. And probably after just the first couple hours of operation, we're going to do that again just because things, uh, when they're working, have a tendency to vibrate loose. So, uh, next steps, uh, let's get this on the tractor. We'll just make it easy for you guys. And just like that, the snow blower is on. Got it all mounted. I went ahead and I uh, tested it out, ran a little snow through it just to make sure everything was all right. Seems to be working good, no problems. So let's go take this up to the road and uh, get some of those edges moved back where I've got a little too much snow hanging out there and get this thing really tested out. So you can see I'm at the top of my road now and this is where the road meets the state highway. And uh, out here is the state highway is absolutely covered in ice from our last ice storm. But my goal for being up here today and part of the reason I won the snowblower was to get these edges pushed back because they're getting so high that you can't see traffic coming when you're up here on the landing. So when you're sitting up here, it's real dangerous. There's cars coming at you and you don't know they're coming. So I'm gonna roll back both the edges and blow them off into the ditch. You see my right side hitch pin right there? Yeah, that's gonna become important later. So what does everybody think of the new snowblower? Don't forget to comment below and let me know. It is just an absolutely beautiful afternoon. It's about two o'clock, a little bit before the sun starts heading down. And so far, this snowblower is just working out great. This thing's a beast. It is eating the snow down and knocking these snow berms right down so we can see a little better with the traffic coming. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. It really helps out and it's free.
So remember that hitch pin I was just talking about? I didn't realize it at the time, but while I was working on pushing the snow bank down, I was starting to lose a hitch pin. So I'll zoom in right here, and if you take a look at my far hitch pin, you'll see it's just starting to wiggle loose right there. And I didn't realize it, but it dropped off in the snowbank right after it goes out of the picture. So I had to head back to the house for another hitch pin. Well, you can see nothing ever quite goes according to plan. I, uh, I lost a hitch pin up there just now on the three-point hitch. So luckily I've got spares, but it must have just vibrated right out. So I'll rob a hitch pin off uh, the box blade and uh, throw one on there. Well, it's almost three o'clock and the sun's starting to set, but I gotta finish up up here at the top of the road. But I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.